Educators were like, here's a diagram that'll help you write chord progressions. Any six chord clump on here are chords that are gonna- And here's why those chords all sound good together. Let's take the first clump he talked about on the circle of fifths. I like to call them pie slices, but those were on the outside F, C, and G, so F, C, and G major, and then on the inside were the minor chords, which were D, A, and E minor. How are these chords related to each other other than being next to each other on the circle of fifths? They are the stable chords in the key of C major. So let's think about all of the chords that are in the key of C major. So just going from the bottom of the scale to the top, we've got C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, and then we do have B diminished, but diminished chords are not what we call stable because they're really crunchy and they have a tendency to like want to go somewhere else. So they're not a great chord to like end a song on, so we call them unstable. So that like three pi slice division of the circle of fifths shows you all of the stable chords in a key, and of course they sound good together because they're all in the same key. So although thinking about chords in relation to where they come from in a key and how they function in regards to each other is really helpful for creating more advanced and intentional chord progressions, if you're just getting started and you just want chords that sound good together, this is a really great tool to get you started. And I found this really great interactive circle of fifths from muted.io, which I have linked in my resources library. That's just under my, my profile. And what you can do with it is you can just click on any of the notes um, and it'll spin the circle to be to make this pie slice, or you can even learn the scale steps and qualities from them. And this is just one example of how a little bit of theory can get you going right away. It doesn't have to hold you back, and really it shouldn't hold you back. So follow for more music theory tips.